Right, so it looks like the best way to do this is to cut around the edges. Uh, hopefully this will be a lot easier than it looks. This plastic casing is actually pretty protective for the case, but I uh, just want to keep the original packaging just to, uh, if you ever want to have a safe storage for your phone in the future. Uh, so, actually I'm already butchering it pretty well. Uh, it actually takes quite an effort to cut through these edges. The plastic's pretty strong, reinforced. Uh, I tried prying with my hands earlier, but actually uh, it takes a lot more effort than you think, and more, more strength. You want to damage the product itself. So we're getting around there. Almost a full 180 now. Uh, the awesome thing about this phone is like, uh, I've been reading a lot of reviews. And I came across this uh, discount on a $30 Nokia Lumia 640 it's because it uh, was a big forum on uh, stick deals and fat wallet, which I pretty, I, pretty, I stay pretty consistent with to check out the deals that are out there and shop around, wh whichever ones you like. And I feel like with Windows 10, it can be uh, synced up to your computer, especially when you run Windows. And I think it would be an awesome feature. So hopefully we'll get into this real fast. I'll just stop there for now since I think I could get into there easily. Uh, as we can see, the layout right here is pretty nice. I think once I turn on the phone, this is how the preview of the uh, the preview is. It's, it's identical to how it should look like. So I'll take this out. As you can feel, I can feel it. It's really light. I feel like the the material on this is pretty good it's like plastic uh, it says to remove let me see current at t customers do not activate your new account use your current sim uh well actually i do have my sim but it's already in this phone that i'm using to record this video uh let's see if this peels off there we go and we see that five inch display uh, I think the actually a lot lighter than my Note 3 now that I've my first uh, 5 inch phone my Note 3 is like 5.5 uh, and I wonder if this will turn on let me see if there's the USB port it looks pretty simplistic but uh, I think the handling is pretty good so actually it doesn't turn on yet maybe I have to charge it for a while all right, please don't. All right, while the phone is charging, let's continue on and see what's behind this uh, packaging. So inside, let me see if I can get into here cleanly. Uh, just take these apart, take this cover off. Okay, so we do see the power adapter, micro USB, nicely placed in here. Uh, I guess this is their uh, guide which I'm not really interested in right now and even more a pamphlet of information um, all the buttons and everything every piece is front facing camera lock and the uh, lock key and volume key are actually on the side which I'm pretty surprised with uh, the speakers are like right there it says and uh, we'll see how this all these work out once we start up the phone and this is the other portable USB. Uh, let's see what else is in here. Oh, the battery. Oh, that's smart of me. Might as well put it in, right? <laughs> Thank you. In the battery, we'll start up the phone. Once I press the power button, you see that Microsoft sign comes on pretty fast. Uh, so let's see how long it takes to power up the phone. Um, it actually vibrates to let you know that it's coming on as well. Um, let's say it's already been 15, 17 seconds yet. Yeah, the Windows screen changed. Again, this is a Windows 8.1 or Windows 8, and I will be upgrading this to a Windows 10 uh, within like a couple hours from now. So I hope you guys stay tuned. Uh, as you can see, this is the AT&T uh, <clears throat> trademark, and it looks like uh took about 30 seconds. But what, what can you expect for a $30 phone, right? So the layout's pretty good, and let's see, we're here to help in just a handful of steps. It's ready to go, it says. All right, so let's go to next. Uh, turn.
difference that we have set and connect to Wi-Fi. All right. Uh, momentarily, I'll be right back. So it's asking for you to connect to Wi-Fi. So just get internet access. Should work pretty well. So the tap, uh, when I tap the screen, it's actually pretty responsive, really fast. Um, there's not much lag time. I think the, so now it's, it says I'm connected to my own network. Go to next, uh, Hi-Fi Sense, next. So all this startup takes a little while. Uh, so you go with the recommended settings, time region, yes. Keep your file in sync. Uh, I'll sign in later. Do you want pre reset protection? Uh, you set in your internet and your phone settings. It's gonna ask. It's gonna start updating. It says a few more apps don't need to finish installing. It should just take another minute or two. So at this time, it's just some downtime. We're just gonna wait for the phone to do its thing. All right, so it looks like uh, finished installing. That took about only like five minutes. So let's see what it looks like. Almost done, he's just about to next. Okay, wow. So I think uh, on the phone, it looks pretty good. Uh, with all these apps right here, right in the front. Uh, it's not your usual layout, like the Android phones or the iPhone iPhone layout. This is lo looks like just like a Windows app, Windows 10's app. But this is Windows 8 right now. Again, I will go over Windows 10 soon. Uh, these are like your, uh, as you can see, Internet Explorer, Cloud. I wonder what's this happy face or uh, messaging threads? Because I don't have any messages yet. Let's go back. That's the back key. This is the Windows key and the search key. Uh, hi there, Crotana. I uh, wonder how we have to. I can help make life a bit easier for you. Okay, get ready to get started by tapping yes, you agree to terms and services. Okay, uh, well, I guess I don't have an account yet, but I guess I'll go over this in depth more uh, when I get Windows 10. I think Cortana is a great feature. And I think within the this year, I think Microsoft has already been planning since 2015 uh, Ever since they, I think they took over uh, Nokia, is to uh, broaden their specs into the phone arena to become like one of the major players. And hopefully that would be crazy. Oh, that looks pretty good too. Um, I think maybe that'd be LA or something like that. I'm not really sure. Okay, there's music, but I don't have anything there. Just looking for music. Just exploring some of these maps, see what they offer. Let's go back to the home screen. Uh, for Skype, I use Skype once in a while. Most people do it just to like keep in touch with everyone. This is the App Store. I think this is the one of the biggest drawback. Everyone's can has been commenting, especially on the, most of the forums, like on Slick Deals or Fat Wallet, where they all made a purchase of this thirty dollar phone. Is that the apps are limited on Windows versus Android, and probably Apple has the most apps, I believe. Uh, and the other reviews is that the interface on this phone it actually runs pretty smooth. Like when I tap it, what I want it to do something, it, it moves pretty fast. It's pretty good. Um, other than that, they also say Windows 10 is pretty smooth. These are also the same reviews that I've heard from other uh, videos on the same phone. And let's go into the let's see Facebook. Office, that's the one I was looking for. Uh, let me see. So it looks like it comes with the full, the full software that like you can use anything you want. Let's try one of these out. Let's go for a um, Office 365. Check account. Uh, actually, I'll do this later then. So some of the features I like is probably like the sports app. 
Uh, this is different from the score. If most people use Android, they probably use the score. You want to keep track of your favorite teams. NFL, NBA, NHL. I think it's uh, pretty well set up. Like All the scores and teams are all pretty well wedged within this uh, window. We swipe to the right. We get the news of the highlights, top stories, uh, different stores, uh, sports, NFL, NBA, MLB, NHL, NCAA. And you can add and customize your own teams that you like to follow and also your sports as well. Uh, there's also slideshows, huh? I'm very surprised. There's pictures of uh, different events. Obviously, next week is the, uh, or this weekend is the big Super Bowl game. But a lot of us will be into that. Um, as we can see more, the NBA seasons. There's videos you can watch. Actually, I think this provides more than the score. This is my first time using this app and I feel like it's pretty uh, easy to use. It's pretty uh, diversified. It, it has a lot of interesting features. It, like, it talks about popular athletes, some of these people that we all recognize who we want to read in different sports. They're all just uh, li li linked and displayed out just for you. Uh, the scoreboard again. So, okay. As we go back to the home screen, uh, so again, it works pretty fast. And then we go to Amazon. Uh, I actually like to shop on Amazon quite a lot. I think Prime is actually a pretty good um, <clears throat> subscription. But then I think it is overvalued. And sometimes some of the products are uh, overpriced too. But what can I say? Amazon does a good job. Two-day shipping, I'm not going to complain. Alrighty then. So I guess for now, that concludes my review on this uh Windows 8 version of the Nokia Lumia 640. Hope you guys stay tuned for the Windows 10. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, also as a last note, that it's really good for like a traveling phone. Like you need this to go on vacation or something, then this is a good option because um, it's light, it's cheap, it's 30 bucks. And you can get Windows 10 on this. And you know, you can tell your friends, you know, bragging rights, like I got Windows 10 on my phone. Uh, it can sync up to your computer. You can use it for lots of features. I think um, the possibilities are pretty vast, especially for a $30 phone. If the feel is great, it's light, uh, it seems sort of durable. Durable. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a case for this or not yet. But then uh, I hope you guys will take a look into it and see if you will be interested in a Go phone like this one. Thank you. Have a nice day.